welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexa Ray. Welcome to a new video, a new shopping vlog. I'm so excited because I feel like we haven't gone book shopping in like a really long time. It's been too long and we are well overdue for a book shopping vlog guys. That's what we're doing today. I'm really excited. Over the past few weeks I've made a pretty good dent in my TBR list so I feel like it's getting to that time where it's time to go and buy some more books before I run out of books to read. It's also just like a really gloomy day and I feel like the only way to make the most out of it is to go shopping so here we are I still have a huge list of book recs from you guys like I always say we are making it through that list one book at a time but today we're moving down the list we're gonna pick up some new books that you guys recommended to me you guys never steer me wrong okay every book that you recommend to me I absolutely love I just love all books honestly <laughs> but that's what we're doing today I know you guys love these videos I love these videos any excuse to go book shopping and get me some new books. I love it and I'm here for it. But with all that being said, we are gonna jump right into this shopping vlog. I'm so excited. Ah! With all that being said, let's go book shopping. I still need to recover from another love. Oh, would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother. But let's see where this leads. I feel like we were in there for a really long time. I feel like whenever I go book shopping, I just like get so lost in the bookstore and I'll come out when it's literally dark out. I think we were in there for about like an hour and a half. With that being said, I have a huge book haul for you guys and I'm so excited because I found some really great books. Of course, this always happens whenever I go book shopping. I go in with a list of books that I'm looking for and for some reason, they will not have like half of the books I'm looking for. So I have to improvise a little bit. I have to go through my list of rec, look around a little bit longer, see what looks good and interesting to me. I'm really excited because I think this is a really good book haul. I'm just going to show you guys what I got. It's always super hard too because I'll literally have like 20 books in my hand and I'm like, okay, I can't be crazy now. I can't buy 20 books right now. I don't need 20 books right now. We bought six books today. Six books is my limit just so we can continue to do bookstore vlogs and stuff like that more frequently. I got six six amazing books. <sighs> 
Some of you are gonna be so excited that I finally got some of these books. Okay, we're just gonna jump right into it. The first book I picked up is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. First of all, this cover, love it. Love the vibe, love it. It's one of the top 100 romance novels of all time on Goodreads. Of course, I got it. You guys know I am mainly a romance reader on this channel, so I'm here for it. I wanted to lose myself in the small town of Pelion, Maine. Forget everything I had left behind. The sound of rain, the blood, the coldness of a gun against my skin. For six months, each breath has been a reminder that I survived and my dad didn't. I'm almost safe again, but the moment I meet Archer Hal, my entire world tilts on its axis and never writes itself again. Until I trespass into a strange, silent, and isolated world, Archer communicates with no one. Yet in his whiskey-colored eyes, something intangible happens between us. There's so much more to him than just his beauty, his presence, or the way his hands communicate with me, on me. But this town is mirrored in secrets and betrayals, and Archer is the explosive center of it all. So much passion and so much hurt, but it's in Archer's silence that we might just find what we need to heal. Guys, ah, I'm excited for this one. The next book I picked up is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This one, huge wreck on my channel. I literally just spoke to someone earlier today about how much they wanted me to review this. We got it, okay? We're doing it. We have the book. I don't know too much about this. It seems like a mystery thriller, but let's see. If anyone asks you how it ends, just lie. We are Sinclairs. We live at least in the summertime on a private island off the coast of Massachusetts. Perhaps that is all you need to know except that some of us are liars so it doesn't give us too much of an insight okay this seems really cool and intriguing I'm excited to see what it's all about next we have normal people by Sally Rooney this actually just became a Hulu series so this might be a fun thing to read and then watch the series and then kind of like compare the two Connell and Marianne grew up in the same small town but the similarities end there at school Connell is popular and well liked while Marianne is a loner but when the two strike up a conversation awkward but electrifying is something life-changing begins Begins. Normal People is a story of mutual fascination, friendship, and love. It takes us from the first conversation to the years beyond in the company of two people who try to stay apart but find that they can't. Obviously a romancy, lovey-dovey type of book. So it's going to be really interesting to see like how their relationship evolves and grows throughout the years. And I'm excited because I have seen a lot on the TV show and a lot of people like it. So I'm really excited to read this and then try out the TV show and compare the two. I also just love this cover. The next book I picked up is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. Ooh! Okay, fun fact about me. One of my favorite, favorite childhood movies is Pirates of the Caribbean. Are you kidding me? It's literally the best cast. Orlando Bloom, Johnny Depp, and Keira Knightley. Are you kidding me? That being said, when I saw this, I was like, I need it. Are you kidding me? It literally says right on the cover, readers should rejoice because we now have a Lady Jack Sparrow on our hands. I'm so excited. Okay. There will be plenty of time for me to beat him soundly once I've gotten what I've came for. Sent on a mission to retrieve an ancient hidden map, the key to legendary treasure trove, 17-year-old pirate captain Aloza delivered deliberately allows herself to be captured by her enemies, giving her the perfect opportunity to search their ship. More than a match for the ruthless pirate crew, Aloza has only one thing standing between her and the map, her captor, the unexpectedly clever and unfairly attractive first mate, Raiden. But not to worry, for Aloza has a few tricks up her sleeve and no lone pirate can stop the daughter of the pirate king. I'm seriously so excited for this book. The next book I picked up is a random one, but it's so cute. So this one is Kisses and Croissants by Anna Sophia Johanna. Look how cute this is. Obviously we know because it's a French romance. I was bound to get it eventually. I'm so excited I'm such a sucker for stuff like this like European romances with that being said I picked it up of course Mia General has always known she's destined to be a professional ballerina She's thrilled to be spending a magical summer in France pursuing her dream But as she dances into Paris she realizes it may be a bit more complicated than she hoped Rivals and impossible instructors nearly push her to the breaking point point. and then there's Louis Devastatingly and distractingly charming Louis He's eager to show Mia his city, and Mia's more than happy to hop on his Vespa and wrap her arms around him as they pass the gleaming lights of the Eiffel Tower. Already so corny. Like, she's on his Vespa, and they're driving around Paris. Mia's summer was supposed to be about ballet, but there's a reason Paris is called the City of Love. I know. I already know. <laughs> The final book I picked up today is probably one of the most highly requested book series on my channel since day one. So many people have requested it that I try this series out, that I review it, I do reading vlogs. We're doing it, guys. I finally got book one of the off-campus series, The Deal by L. Kennedy. I hear this series is really good. It's kind of spicy. Of course, there's drama and everything in between. She's about to make a deal with the college bad boy. Hannah Wells has finally 
found someone who turns her on. But while she might be confident in every other area of her life, she's carting around a full set of baggage when it comes to sex and seduction. If she wants to get her crush's attention, she'll have to step out of her comfort zone and make him take notice, even if it means tutoring the annoying, childish, cocky captain of the hockey team in exchange for a pretend Day. All Garrett Graham has ever wanted is to play professional hockey after graduation, but his plummeting GPA is threatening everything he's worked so hard for. If helping a sarcastic brunette make another guy jealous will lift his grades and secure his position on the team, he's all for it. But when one unexpected kiss leads to the wildest sex of both their lives... <laughs> It doesn't take long for Garrett to realize that pretend isn't going to cut it. Now he just has to convince Hannah that the man she wants looks a lot like him. So it seems like a fake dating type of trope. I know I'm gonna love this, and like I said, you guys have never steered me wrong, so I'm not even worried. Finally, we're reading it after like three or four months of you guys recommending me it. We've secured it. We're starting it. I'll probably do a reading vlog for this, so stay tuned for the reading vlog. Okay, guys, that is all for my bookstore vlog today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have fun with me. It's my favorite thing to do on my channel is go book shopping and taking you with me because it's fun showing you guys all the books and showing you guys what I'm looking at and how I basically tackle bookstores. I hope you guys are excited about the books I picked up today and all the reading vlogs that are to come. Oh, so excited. Most of these books were all recs from you. So as always, thank you so much for all the book recs, guys. You've never steered me wrong with books and I can't thank you enough. So make sure to comment down below any book recs you have for me. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. It lets me know that you like these types of videos. You like coming on bookstore dates with me. You like my reading vlogs, my book reviews, my daily vlogs, all that fun and exciting stuff. And of course, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you'd like to see more of me, I post weekly, guys. I post weekly. It's basically free entertainment every single week, so you might as well subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video.